Hi everybody! I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Blockbuster. Now, he made his very first appearance in Detective Comics Volume 1, issue number 345, that was released in November of 1965. There have been four individuals to carry this name, but for the sake of this video, I'm only going to cover the two that are named, which happen to be brothers, being Mark Desmond and then Roland Desmond which when empowered both have variable height and weight, although their height tends to range between seven foot four and eight feet, and their weight tends to fall between 527 pounds and 645 pounds. Both of them having brown eyes and blonde hair, although they are sometimes shown with very dark colored strawberry blonde hair that almost looks brown. Now, when anyone is in the blockbuster form, they have moderate to lower level vast superhuman strength, durability, and stamina, typically being able to put up a somewhat reasonable fight against vastly superpowered foes, although they've typically been defeated by non-powered foes, such as Batman and Nightwing. Now, at least for the first blockbuster, Mark, this was due to a glaring weakness, which was the fact that this massive strength came at the cost of his intelligence, with him typically having the intelligence of an angry child. Now, Mark was actually the catalyst for this blockbuster phenomena, being a frail chemist who came up with the serum that increased his physical attributes, albeit at the cost of his intellect, as I just stated. This made it easy for this hulking behemoth to be manipulated by his criminally minded brother, Roland, leading him down a villainous path that would put him squarely at odds with Batman, Robin, and the Justice League. He would even have a stint as one of the original members of the Suicide Squad. However, when Mark would finally be imprisoned, his brother Roland would begin his transition from being a crime boss into being a shady casino operator. His rise to power within the underworld of the city of Bloodhaven is directly tied to his possession of his brother's serum, which obviously boosted his physical stats nearly off the charts. However, there's one key difference, because before his brother Mark was imprisoned, he managed to tweak the formula of the blockbuster serum so that his brother could maintain his normal intelligence while having the physical strength of blockbuster, making him a much more difficult opponent to take down. He was influential and savvy enough to even manipulate Nightwing into helping him depose the crime lord Tiger Shark, which then led to Roland declaring himself the leader and protector of his native town of Bloodhaven. This new blockbuster's morals were sketchy but not completely off, which would lead to he and Nightwing having a very tepid pact against certain villains like Raptor, who sought to exploit the city. But deep down, you always know you can't quite trust Blockbuster. Now, for their powers and abilities, and their influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give the Blockbusters a combined rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.